Hey guys, what's up? My name is Sean Russelt, <coughs> and welcome to my Delphi programming series. So in this video we're going to be learning how to create a mask edit component dynamically. So when you create a component dynamically, basically you have to create the component via code. You have to set events and properties for it via code as well. So I'm going to this video, so I'm a bit um, burpy today. So, um, I'm not here to explain to you what a mask edit, edit component is and how it works, but just know that I'm going to be using the. Um, where is it now? Uh, I'm going to be using the, the, the edit masks from these examples here, samples here. It's not going to be writing my own, I'm just going to be using these. I'm probably going to be using this short time one because it's the easiest one to have. So yes, a short time one. I'm just gonna have it here. So it says yes and yes. So I can copy it. Or let's copy it now, okay? And then let's just have it. Okay. So here is the the edit mask for the short time I'm going to be using. As let's start actually now. Add a variable start to create the component dynamically add a variable let's call it then mask edit of type t mask edit then we say then mask edit colon equals t mask edit dot create so the create constructor is responsible for creating it and then in the brackets it wants an owner the owner is the owner is basically responsible for destroying the component so let's make it the form because we want the form this this is the, this is the form name so we want the form to be responsible for destroying the component let me say then mask edit dot parent we want the parent to be the scroll box because the component must display inside of the scroll box also you can go here and pause the video and read this this is the difference between owner and parent in Delphi, so you can read this, pause the video, if you want. Okay, so... Uh, sorry. Let me say then, mask, edit. Let's start by aligning it to the top. Uh, AL top, and give it a height, then mask, edit, dot height let's give it a height of 50 let's give it a, let's change the oops, the font size dot font dot size okay now let's give it uh wait let's see how it looks so far let's compile so now basically it is just a normal edit component oops the font size it didn't change oops oh, wow let's make the font size 20 so right now it's just a normal um, edit component as you can see let's make it what makes a mask edit special so we say then mask edit dot edit mask and now we copy this into it make it a short time it's compile and now it works, I can enter time here, such as, it, do, it doesn't allow us to enter letters, because letters isn't in time. So we can enter things as now, like number, as you, if you can see, I don't, I don't know. Anyway, yes, so that works now. Um, okay, let's move on. I mean, now basically, you can also set the other properties for it here if you want to, so yeah. Let's move on, let's give it an on change event. Procedure, let's call it. I'm just going to be calling then change. Uh, give the sender the object. Okay. In the implementation, we now say procedure tframe home dot. We select it then change, and here it is. So we want the mask edit to change color when we 
um, we need is we need on change a bit is run. So let's start by doing that. Add a variable i color. <laughs> that backs a bit sore also. Of that integer, we start by saying randomize. Then we give i color a random number. Random something there. Okay. Let's add a number zero. Just why not? Okay, now we want the uh, um, given scene there, which is the um, changed um, mask edit, changed color. So we say scene there as t mask edit dot color and we give it this i color. Yes, that will work. Now let's go and actually assign this uh, procedure to the own change event of the then mask edit. Then mask edit dot on change then change okay so that will work let's create some let's start here and take some stuff to it so every time we change when, the, when the something is changed then the on change event is being run and then it changes color as you can ah, okay I entered um, a wrong number but basically um, yeah, we aren't going to be doing in this video on how to check it, check if the given information is correct always. So, yes, this is just, this is just basically how to use uh, mask edit uh, to create it dynamically. And if this video helped in any way, please make sure to leave a thumbs up on this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. You can leave a comment if you want a specific video or want me to talk about something or explain something, then I'll try and do that. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.